Maxine McHugh was one of Australia's most respected television and print journalists for 30 years, one of a small but formidable group who blazed the trail for women at the ABC. Beginning as a cadet on This Day Tonight, she was a newsreader on the Carlton Walsh Report before becoming Washington correspondent and in 1995 anchor of the ABC's Late Line. I'll never forget her interview with Pauline Hanson. And in it, in a sense, she almost anticipated this era of false news. Now, the figures that I have indicate by the year 2040, 53.6% of our population would be Asian. Now, who's done those figures for now, you? Now, they, they are figures that actually have been given to also the Prime Minister's Department and the um, Immigration Minister, right, let, let me tell you, Ruddick. Let me tell you what the figures are today, and that is that Asians make up less than 5% of our population. Now, how can that amount to us being swamped? Because I don't believe that those figures are the true figures. Well, well, hang, all, hang, hang, we, we don't, hang on, just a moment. We don't engage in fantasy on these program, this program. I haven't made that up. She was ahead of her time in anticipating that, uh, that these politicians were going to start com coming at us as they now do, having just made stuff up. Beautifully spoken and driven by an intense intellectual curiosity, she won a Walkley Award and a Logie for interviewing. For my generation of journalists, Maxine McHugh set the gold standard, she really did, of how we wanted to do our interviews, of that incisive inquiring mind, of that absolutely television perfect presentation uh, with not a bead of sweat on her brow, not a moment of discomfort, not a moment where she was put off her game. She hosted the 7.30 report and wrote lunch with Maxine McHugh in the Bulletin before she left the media to contest Benelong for Labor in 2007, unseating Prime Minister John Howard. And, and uh, we'll, we'll take a quick look at Benelong now. Uh, John Howard's seat. This has been an amazing night.